If you're enjoying the content you find here, please consider becoming a member of the Gaze community. Subscribe right now. Hello and welcome to the Red Gaze. Today's video is uh, pretty special. It's something I've been uh, wanting to work on for a long time and I'm finally here. I'm finally doing it. Um, I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you to Ryan Johnson. Uh, not for the reasons you might think. Not for creating the worst Star Wars movie of all time. Not for um, his inability to stay within the boundaries of uh, established lore in a uh, sci-fi fantasy universe. Um, not for being a total douchebag and a, just a an irritant and a constant troll on Twitter. Um, not for any of that. No, I want to thank Ryan Johnson for motivation. Uh, it was were it not for Ryan Johnson, um, I wouldn't have been motivated to uh, do what I'm doing now. Uh, he was the uh, the start of all of this. Uh, he was the apex, the pinnacle, uh, the reason why I followed uh, followed through on this path and became a YouTube personality. Now that's not it. Um, I also want to thank him for friendships that I now have that I never would have were it not for the destruction <laughs> of my beloved franchise in Star Wars. Um. Yeah, so let's get started. Uh, about a year and a half ago, or so, um, I was distraught. I was very distraught. I went to see Star Wars The Last Jedi, and I emerged from the theater uh, for the first time just, I don't know, in, uh, in a state of confusion. Now, normally, when I see a movie, uh, I'll have a pretty good idea of whether I kind of liked it, kind of didn't. Um... But a lot of times I have to see a movie twice to decide. Not so with The Last Jedi. I came out confused and uh, everything in me was telling me, this is a Star Wars movie. You're supposed to like this. That You know, that <laughs> everything you like was there. But it wasn't. It wasn't a Star Wars movie. It was a Ryan Johnson movie. He stole characters. Our characters. And uh, used them however he wanted to, to basically to set up his own Star Wars trilogy. Uh, he used the middle segment of a trilogy to set up his own crap uh, that's supposedly coming in the future. He claims it still is, but I'm having my doubts now. Yeah, uh, I mean, why would you do that? And not only that, he absolutely castrated and destroyed the character of Luke Skywalker. Uh, everything he ever stood for, uh, Ryan Johnson pissed all over. Uh, we're promoting these new characters. For what? They're not likable. Nobody likes them. And, um, I mean, Holdo? What a piece of crap she is. Rose Tico? Just irrelevant. Uh, besides the bad haircut and the potato sack. Uh, but the other new characters, like Ray, this Mary Sue crap that we keep getting from her, still with no explanation. To this day, there's no explanation why See, she is so strong. Uh, we just get this little message at the end, well, anybody can use the Force! Anybody in the whole galaxy! You don't have to be of a special bloodline, you don't have to be special, anybody can do it. Um, maybe so, but if you're telling a compelling story, that's not, uh, it's not really doing it for me. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I wanted to like the character of Rey. Uh, going back to The Force Awakens, um, I was one of the few who said, you know, give it a chance. Give it a chance. Let's see what they do in the next one. They might explain all of this away. <laughs> no! Absolutely not! Forget that. Uh, Snoke um, just killed unceremoniously. Uh, Finn and Poe? Finn, what the, what the hell? That, there was a character with potential. A stormtrooper that leaves the First Order uh, in order to fight with the Resistance. There's a character that could have some awesome story behind him. There's a character who could, uh, you know, really be somebody. 
and do some special things. Nope, wrong again. Finn is just the comic relief. Put a clown nose on that bitch and smack his ass, send him on his way. Uh, utter garbage. And uh, Poe, <laughs> Luke wasn't the only one castrated in The Last Jedi. Uh, Poe was pretty much handed his balls and told, um, you know, that's not how, that's not how we do things. Uh, we don't we don't just hop in a fighter and blow stuff up. Um, you're such a hothead. Yeah, uh, sometimes you need a hothead. Sometimes you need someone to hop in a fighter and blow stuff up. And that's uh, Finn, or not Finn, Poe's role. So, yeah, another character uh, tossed into the garbage. Uh, Leia? <laughs> Do we even want to talk about that? Uh, the space poppins crap? No, let's not. Uh, let's, let's move on from that. But the real reason we're here, what I'm trying to say is thank you, Ryan Johnson. Uh, were it not for you and your completely and utterly bottom of the barrel base fans, I would never have been motivated to do the things I'm doing now. I wouldn't be on YouTube. I wouldn't be writing a novel. I wouldn't be writing a comic. And those are all things that I'm doing now, and some of those are very close to completion. And I'm very happy for that, because, uh, you know, after a while, initially after The Last Jedi, I took to Facebook, I took to YouTube, searching for answers, <laughs> trying to find out if I was the only one. Like, I, I didn't think I could possibly be the only one who had just witnessed the demise of Star Wars. Fucking Star Wars! Are you serious? But it turns out I wasn't. Uh, there, I discovered that I was not alone. Um, but I would also discover that there were a lot of rabid fans of this filth, this garbage movie, who were very quick to uh, immediately try to bully you into silence and uh, make everyone believe that this movie was something special. Because we subverted expectations. That's so special. Ryan Johnson is brave. <laughs> okay, so... These people would constantly say things like, Well, if you didn't like it, uh, maybe the franchise isn't for you. This franchise that you've loved for 40 years, maybe it's just not for you. Or, well, it's a movie about space wizards for children. Um, no, not particularly. And uh, the, the cream of the crop, what really got me was, Well, if you don't like it, if you think you can do better... Why don't you write something? So, uh, after hearing that a few times, um, you know, I've always kind of wanted to write a novel. I've, I've written some short stories. I've done some stuff. Uh, some literary stuff. But uh, I said, okay, bitches. Fine. I will. Uh, so I did. I set about writing a novel. And uh, that the first draft of that is finally almost finished. Uh, you know, I can't just sit down and write day in and day out. I got things to do. I got work. Uh, now I have YouTube. Uh, you know, I have responsibilities, and I try to fit my writing in where I can. But uh, thank you, Ryan Johnson, and your piece of shit fans uh, for motivating me to get off my ass and start creating. Uh, I also searched around. I found people. I found people like John Talks, uh, Geeks and Gamers, World Class Bullshitters, people like Mauler, people like Lord Doomcock, uh, just a slew of people uh, that came from everywhere. I searched and I found, and finally, I found Ethan Van Skyver. Now, he is a special case amongst all of the fandom menace, uh, what we're titling as the fandom menace. Ethan Van Skyver is unique in that he is not only fandom menace, he is also very much comics gate. And that's uh, where his passion lies. But Star Wars is what led me to his videos. Star Wars is what led me to him uh, because I found, <laughs> found his videos quite entertaining and uh, I could not not agree with anything he was saying. Um, uh, but then he started talking about comics and uh, for the first time in years since the late 90s, early 2000s, uh, I suddenly found myself interested in comics again. You know, that was... Uh, that was... Uh, a form of entertainment I had kind of tossed aside because I just didn't like where it was going and, uh, you know, I got tired of it. I just got tired of it. Um, yeah, nothing was the same after the 90s. 
But uh, then it, it just got worse and worse and worse. And I'm like, okay, that's enough. But yeah, this guy sparked in me uh, the, the flame that <laughs> will light the fire of the rebellion. Uh, no. Um, he reignited my love for comics. And I found myself, you know, suddenly back in the comic shops again. And so I'm writing this novel, and um, I'm watching Comic Skate happen. And it's blowing up, and I'm like, well, oh, sh shit, I could write a comic, right? <laughs> you know, we got all these, uh, you know, average everyday guys uh, coming out with their own comic books. And um, it's like, yeah, I could do that. So uh, I'm currently working on a comic also. So when I say thank you, Ryan Johnson, I think what I really mean is thank you, Ethan Van Skyver. Thank you, World Class Bullshitters. Thank you, Geeks and Gamers. Uh, thank you, that Star Wars girl. Thank you, Jesse Milestone. Thank you... Thank you, thank you, everybody who stood up and said, this is bullshit, this is not Star Wars, and we don't have to accept that. We can do our own stuff. We don't have to keep following this this crap. You know, this isn't the only option out there. And not only that, but we can make alternative options ourselves. We can work on stuff ourselves. We can create. We can create. So... Yeah, that, I mean, it's, all of this really just got me off my ass and got me moving to accomplish some things that I've wanted to do forever. And I just hadn't done it because, you know, you're stuck in that daily grind. You're like, oh, work, come home, get a little bit of relaxation, go to sleep, back to work the next day, blah, 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 blah. And sometimes, you know, you're just tired and you don't, you don't feel like it. You don't feel like doing extra. Well, I've been doing extra for some time now, and uh, I gotta tell you, it feels good. It feels good doing all the extra, and uh, you know whether or not anything actually pays off uh, monetarily, it's paid off spiritually. Uh, it's uh, it's a sense of accomplishment you don't get from just working the daily grind and doing, you know, what you're quote unquote supposed to do, I guess. So here I am now. I'm on YouTube. And uh, I plan on pursuing this for quite some time. And all of this, all of this that I just described led up to some beautiful friendships and uh, some awesome, awesome, uh, you know, teamwork. Um, I find myself now streaming on a regular basis with uh, friends that I've made because of uh, all of this nonsense that we've all had to put up with, that we'd, we've all had to endure. And uh, this community has come together, this group, this fellowship. Uh, people have really come together and we all back each other. We all got each other's backs. Uh, people like uh, Wyatt Holiday. People like uh, Simon Sim Potier. Adam AF. Uh, Tinfoil Hat Nick. Mandy Summers. Uh, Snow Dub Music and Entertainment. Uh, I've recently been talking to Lethal Lightning. The guy's awesome. Uh, there's many, many, many more. Um, but in particular, there is one that I really, really want to shout out. Uh, this guy found me in the ether uh, when I was nobody. <laughs> you know, I'm still nobody. But, um, you know, I might have had 50 subs uh, when this gentleman came calling. And I just want to say, you know, a big, huge thank you to Black Angus Reviews, uh, and as well as the Fandom Collective, of which he is one of the five founding fathers. But Black Angus, in particular, uh, he sought me out. He welcomed me onto his channel. Um, he welcomed me into his streams. He introduced me to a lot of people uh, for no reason other than to, uh, you know, just... <laughs> You know, to be, to be a good guy, and uh, to help a brother out. So, Black Angus, um, thanks, brother. I really appreciate it. I really value uh, the friendship that we have uh, made, and I hope it continues for a very long time. But yeah, the state of things right now is it's both it's both heart wrenching, heart wrenching, and uh, totally awesome at the same time. We're having to say goodbye to franchises and properties that we have loved our whole lives, that we have invested so much of ourselves into. Uh, we're having to wave goodbye to them as they sail away into, uh, 
you know, SJW fucko land. They're, they're probably gone, and we just need to accept it. But at the same time, we are meeting new people. Lots, I mean, I'm meeting lots of new people. And, uh, by the way, if I left your name out at all, I, I apologize. Uh, there's just, there's been so many, so many new friendships. Uh, so many new people I've met. And, um, I appreciate you all. Um, it's just what, you know, I don't want this video to be an hour long. So, <laughs> I gotta, uh, cut it somewhere. But, yeah, we're making new friends. Uh, we're all enjoying each other's company. And at the same time, we're creating stuff. You know, a lot of us are just YouTubers uh, creating stuff on YouTube, but we're also creating new, new franchises, new worlds to uh, to explore and love, uh, new universes uh, to open up to the world at large. There's other stuff out there. There's other ideas, and we are sharing them now with the world. Uh, we've become so upset and disenfranchised uh, with what we knew that you know when you know what they say when you drive someone to the point where they don't care uh that's <laughs> that's your ultimate mistake you know if you drive someone that you love someone that loves you to the point that they no longer care then that's on you that is on you you've done that you face the consequences so in driving us away, uh, what they've done is forced us to look elsewhere and find other things and create new things, create other things, share our own visions with the world. And that's what we're doing. That's all this is about. It's not about hate. It's not about uh, racism or sexism or any of this other crap that you hear from them nonstop. It's not about any of that. You destroyed something, many things now that we loved and enjoyed so we have no choice but to move on it's like it's like a terrible relationship that you've been in your entire life and one day you just wake up and say that i can't do this anymore i'm moving on that's what we're doing we're moving on uh, to new frontiers and we're going to make our own shit damn it we're going to make our own stuff and uh, we're going to put it out there and let's see let's see what happens in time I am of the mind that Star Wars is not going to be around much longer. Even if it is, uh, it's it's already gone. <laughs> you know, Luke says no one's ever really gone in the worst Star Wars movie ever made. But, um, you know, it wasn't Luke, that was Jake. So, yeah, it's gone. Bye, Star Wars. We loved you, we had some good times. We'll always cherish the memories. But, uh, yeah, see ya. Uh, same with Marvel Comics and, and leading into DC Comics. Uh, all comics, really. All of the major comic book companies, they're all allowing themselves to be overrun by these ideological weirdos. And, uh, yeah, we're going to have to say goodbye to them as well. Uh, it's even beginning to bleed into the MCU. Um, they had a good run, but uh, <laughs> it's, it's time to say goodbye. And... Uh, Get down. Get down on it. Make some new things. Do some new stuff. Meet some new people. And move on with our lives. Let's go. Let's do it. I encourage you all to do the same. Everyone who's listening. You have the same capability as I do. You have the same capability as anyone else who's gone out there, grabbed what they wanted, and succeeded. It's inside you. Do it. Um, but yeah, I think that's all for now. So thank you profoundly. A profound thank you to Ryan Johnson for being the catalyst in this epic wave that is uh, spreading, spreading outward, much like a, uh, a nuclear blast. <laughs> yeah, we're blowing shit up and we're doing our own stuff. So thanks, Ryan Johnson, uh, for putting the nail in that coffin and making us all realize Star Wars truly is dead. Now, as far as uh, the listeners here, the viewers, um, a profound thank you to, the, to you as well. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for following. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for everything you do that, that helps uh, promote this channel and every other channel that's trying to do good things. Uh, we very much appreciate it. So on that note, we're going to wrap this up. I'm going to go. Uh, thanks for listening. 
If you enjoyed this, please give a thumbs up and share it around. Uh, if you didn't, there's a thumbs down just for you. But uh, in either case, please do subscribe and share. Uh, let's spread. Let's spread. We're, the, we're in the blast wave. Let's make it happen. Uh, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Love you all. Peace. Peace.